What is up and welcome to this extremely historical video because yesterday the most significant, largest, craziest CP balance update was ever dropped and today in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys exactly why your Pokemon, your top Pokemon might have gone from this over to this. Every single Pokemon that you have was either nerfed or buffed, except for the Lapras. The Lapras was piped. Niantic was like, okay, we're not gonna nerf you, we're not gonna buff you, we're gonna pipe you. This means that every single Pokemon that you have right now has either been nerfed or buffed, and I'll be showing you guys exactly which ones were nerfed, which ones were buffed, and which ones got the biggest nerfs and the biggest buffs. Everyone except for the Lapras, actually. The Lapras was not touched. It was the only Pokemon not to get nerfed or buffed. Apparently got too much attention from the Lapras spawn event in Japan, so they're like, you are being left out of this one. And after we go over all these humongous CP changes, we're going to take out the most buffed Pokemon out of this entire update and go battle some gyms because some of these Pokemon went from like zero to freaking hero and I really, really want to see them perform uh, against a gym. So that is the plan for today's video. Now let's get into all of these CP changes. We're going to start this off by showing every single Pokemon that got a buff. So basically anything you do not see in this list of starred Pokemon got nerfed. So that's how this is going to work. So again, everything you see in here, every single Pokemon that is starred right now has gotten uh, a buff. Now some of these buffs are really, really big. Some of them are very, very small. But all of these, regardless of how big or small each buff was, all of these Pokemon right here got a buff. And there's a list of ones that I missed. Uh, Rattata, Fero, Sandshrew, Sandslash, Diglett, Dodrio, Mankey, Abra, Kadabra, Machoke, Doduo, Dodrio, Onix, Krabby, Kingler, Execute, Rhyhorn, Pinsir, Omnite, Kabuto. Plus all of these Pokemon right here all got a pretty good buff. And that also means that everything that was not starred, every Pokemon that you do not see on this list or not in that list, those all got nerfed, minus the Lapras. Again, the Lapras just didn't get touched. Now we're gonna show and talk about the Pokemon that got the biggest buffs out of anybody, and some of them were actually really, really surprising. Like the first one here, the Dragonite, out of all the Pokemon to get buffed, the Dragonite was the least likely, in my opinion, just because I see them over 3,000 CP everywhere where I live in LA, and uh, they are the most <laughs> overpowered freaking Pokemon ever. I mean, this they're insane with a hyper beam on 3000 CP, good night. But the Dragonite, although it didn't get a humongous buff, it still got a buff of 2%. So it'll say the name point and then a number. That number is the percent increase that it got or the percent buff that it got CP wise. And the Dragonite got a 2% buff on the CP. The Vaporeon, also one of the most overpowered Pokemon in the game, actually got nerfed uh, in a previous update, got a 13% CP buff. The Rhydon was one of the biggest with a 51% CP increase. So if you guys were looking at your top CP Pokemon and you noticed the Rhydon somehow snuck his way in there, that is why he got a 51% increase. The funny thing is that's not even the biggest increase out of all the Pokemon. Gyarados getting a 23% increase. That was another shocking one because the Gyarados is a damn good Pokemon and I have a lot of him and I've got a thousand Magikarp candy so I can get two more. So. Uh, Gyarados went up 23. That's awesome. The Gengar finally they so they buffed a lot of Pokemon that they really needed to like the Gengar like the Moth like the Alkazam They gave them humongous buffs and the Gengar got a 27% increase And I have I'll show you guys my all my Gengars my Gengars went from zero to freaking hero I have a ton of them close to 2000 CP now, which is epic another shocking one The Snorlax got an 8% increase in CP. He is already incredibly overpowered. Why did he get even more overpowered? I don't know. The Tauros got a 38% increase in CP. This guy's 1800. This is enormous. So, uh, hey, anybody when trading comes out, all of you people who do not have the Tauros, I got you. Actually, all of the EV evolutions grabbed a, uh, a buff. The Jolteon getting a 29% CP increase. That was needed. The Jolteon was really, really like. It was really low CP wise and it wasn't the best one and we need better electric Pokemon so that 29% was huge. The Machamp got a 12% increase and the entire the entire Machamp family got a pretty big increase. The Golem actually, another Pokemon that you know is appearing up in the top CP list for a lot of people now got a 28% increase and this guy's got Mudshot and Earthquake so this is a pretty damn good Golem right here. Here's one of the biggest ones, the Jinx grabbing a 51% increase on the CP, 1700 on a Jinx, that is just ridiculous. We don't have to use this in today's video because I've never used this in a gym battle because they've always been super low CP. Now we have it at 1700 and I'm very, very curious. The Aerodactyl getting a 22% increase in CP. We have a 1700 Aerodactyl with Hyper Beam. This guy is going to be a beast. Scyther grabbing a 20% increase, Cloyster grabbing a 21 and then the Alakazam right here is getting a 60 or has got a 60 
4% increase, and now this is one of the biggest ones, and actually, I'll talk about, I'll give some honorable mentions at the end, but the Abra got a 106% increase, and the Kadabra got a 71% increase, and then Alakazam getting a 64. The entire family just got buffed to, just, oh my god. Yeah, so the uh, Abra family got the biggest buff out of everything. That was just insane. Tangula getting a 29% increase, which is awesome because now my dude's almost 1500 CP, which is awesome. Amistar getting a 21. Flareon, again, the EV family got, the, the entire family got the buff. Uh, and the Flareon got a 10% increase. Now, these ones were pretty big. The Hitmon Shan getting a 42% CP increase, and the Hitmon Lee getting a 67 CP increase. Kabutops grabbing a 19, Magneton with a 20, Electrode with 16, Haunter getting a 26. The entire Ghastly family got a pretty big buff. Uh, Seedra 17, Beedrill 26. Now, this is the biggest one by far. The Chansey getting a 157% CP increase. What in the hell? That is just insane. And the uh, look at the HP on this bad boy is 336, which is bigger than any Pokemon that I have. So when I go to a gym, this is probably going to be the Pokemon that I always leave if I just want to troll the hell out of people because with 983 CP and 336 HP, this is going to be a damn hard Pokemon to take down with any other Pokemon, regardless of what the attacker is using. So 157, I can't believe that on the Chansey. Then Butterfree got 18, Horsey got 18, Geodude actually getting a 46% increase. That was pretty massive. Uh, and the Graveler getting a 29, so again, whole Geodude family got an increase. Uh, and then the Magnemite got a 24, and the Shelter got a 28, and then some honorable mentions. Uh, just Pokemon I don't have. Uh, the Abra with, again, 106, Kadabra, 71. The Krabby getting an 85% CP increase. Kingler getting a 52, which again is huge. We just got an egg. And then the Sandshrew getting a 58% increase, which was also pretty massive. And then we've got a 5k egg hatching right here where we get Porygon. Drowsy, I'll take the Drowsy. I think the Drowsy got nerfed, actually, funny enough. So let's see, we got 549 CP and then Great IV. So we'll evolve this guy eventually. But yeah, so those were all of the CP buffs. Now let's talk about the bigger nerfs. Now to start this off, I just want to point out that literally every single starter but the Charizard got nerfed. The Charmeleon got a 5% nerf. The Charmander got a 14% nerf. The Bulbasaur got a 9% nerf. The Blastoise got a 10% nerf. Hold on. Ivysaur 5%, Venusaur 1%, Squirtle 22% nerf, uh, War Turtle 17% nerf, Blastoise 10% nerf. Why? They already suck. Growlithe grabbing an 18% nerf. Also, the Arcanine got a 5% nerf. That was one of like the most popular high CP Pokemon. They did nerf it down a little bit. This is a good thing. If you guys have seen my gym battle videos, you'll know that the Arcanine is my biggest enemy ever because he cheats. So he got nerfed. He got what he had coming to him. Seal grabbing a 21% nerf. I didn't see that coming because the Dugong isn't that great. The Dugong also got nerfed. Jigglypuff grabbing a 26% nerf. Also, we've got the uh, male Nidoran grabbing a 14% nerf, the female Nidoran grabbing an 18% nerf, the Weeping Bell grabbing a 15% nerf, Victory Bell getting an 11% nerf. I'm pissed off about this one because the Victory Bell isn't a great Pokemon to start with, and I just got this one with Razor Leaf and Solar Beam, and he was like, you know, up the 1400s, and then now he's like high 1300s. That's that's annoying. Also, we have the Executor getting a 1% nerf. I could, yeah, I guess I could see that. Uh, the Slowbro getting a 4% nerf. Not exactly sure why that. This one too annoyed me. We got Lickitung with a 20% nerf. I'm pretty sure this Lickitung had like 1100 CP and it has a Zen Headbutt and Power Whip and it just got destroyed. Dratini actually getting a 14% decrease in CP and the Dragonite though did get an increase. I don't, I don't know. Lay Magikarp with a 23% decrease. So the Gyarados got a pretty big increase but the Magikarps got brought down a little bit. Another one I didn't really understand, the Weezing got a 3% decrease, even though the Weezing already is not a great Pokemon at all. It's in the same category as like the Gengar. It definitely should have gotten a big nerf, or buff, sorry. And the Oddish with a 7% decrease. So this obviously, these aren't all of the Pokemon that got nerfed, but these are kind of like either the big ones or the ones that didn't really make sense in my opinion, but this is their game. They know their game way better than I do, so obviously all of these make sense, but just some of them are like, why did they happen? And then some of them are like, this is just BS, like all the starters. Uh, but these are those were the main nerfs and again. Here's my top CP Pokemon squad We have the Dragonites and the Vaporeons and the Dragon Slayers the Gyarados is up top But I mean it's just a surprise the surprise visit from these Rhyhorns from the Gengars It's just it's really cool to like scroll through and see uh, Actual diversity in the top CP Pokemon like this Tauros for 1800 this Jolteon for 1800 the Machamp for 1800 Gollum for 1800 Jinx 7 like it just it's really cool to scroll through and see more than just Arcanine's 
uh, Dragonites and Vaporeon. So I don't know, I find this update to be absolutely awesome. It was definitely needed and now it's like, it's a really, really balanced game gym-wise and I know there's probably still more balancing they need to do. Still some pretty overpowered Pokemon like the Dragonite's still OP, the Snorlax is still OP, the Vaporeon's still OP, but like, there has to be OP really good Pokemon, but if everything else is pretty good, then, you know, it's going to be okay. But yeah, I'm pretty juiced for this update, and I'm actually really hyped it's out. And I know this video is a little bit late, it was a lot later. I intended to upload this before, uh, before Ditto came out, but then Ditto dropped, and I was like, okay, this video needs to be, like, pushed back a couple days, because Ditto was a lot more important. But this video is definitely still important, it's definitely still uh, a thing in the game, it's something that I haven't talked about on the channel yet, except for right now. But yeah, that was today's video, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and actually tell me which Pokemon you have, or if, if your top list changed, if the top Pokemon that you had changed from like Dragonites over to Rhydons, let me know in the comments, and if it didn't change, then let me know either way, but I'll see you guys in the next video, I love you all, peace out.